There's probably gonna be no sweet spot on the wall to take him either. Just gonna have to fucking have him directly sit in the room and blow him up ASAP so we don't have to get hit by the explosion 20 yards. I don't know how the my group got stacks, unless like, unless the cleave, I don't know, I mean, who knows how big a clump check in this fight is, I guess. Maybe I was standing a little too close, but I was a decent amount of distance away. Um, I set up the macro, by the way, and let's make sure everyone's here. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go again. It's starting. Huh. It's going to be really bad for explosions if he stays there, but it's going to be really bad for Cleave to move, so we'll probably just rip. Yeah, thanks, Zipup. Notice where that thing spawned. Your idea is fucking stupid, so shut the fuck up. Oh! Nice. We wasted a pull because you're a fucking idiot. What group is up right now? We're just fucking, we're gonna Still die. Like we're gonna stack. die in a second, so. I have two stacks going. Okay, let me know. I didn't even notice that you can see the guys standing. Yep, up on yeah. the pillar. She slams to that like seven poles. Uh, then here yeah. we go. So there's a lot that can spawn. That's gonna be fucking crazy for 20 p At the end of the fight, you're probably just... Well, let me see, actually. 10% more damage. I feel like they're gonna have you take people... Like, the only way to do... If, that, if it ever hits that many things... You guys have to take people out of cleave, like, closer to the end of the fight, but there's no reason not to split it at the beginning. You know, there might, there, maybe, maybe there will be a point in the fight where tanks have to take cleave. So I'm not really sure, like, how else you'll have <laughs> that much ground covered. Unless, you know, they're... How long have our pulls been? I guess that's the question. See how long, uh... Like how often they add one to the fight. It's probably like every 30 seconds or something. Somewhere around that, 20-30 seconds. The most we've seen is three, right? Three spawning at the same time? I guess so. Must be every uh, 30 seconds. This fight's gonna be a huge gear check. Is it possible to soak two at a time, or is the damage too high? Two cadavers, that is? I wouldn't try it. The problem is they run towards the boss, they're not going to be grouped up to do that, and it does 160k. Well, I saw two of them uh, spawning where I'm standing right now. One right here, and one right here. 
and they were running towards the middle. So I they emerged around here. It depends if it goes through damage cooldowns because it ignores armor. That's what it suggests. So maybe reduction cooldowns work, but there's only so many people who could do it. I guess the turns work, so you probably can. It just depends on who's doing it. But I mean, the thing is, if they spawn far apart, there's there's no way to do that. So I guess it really depends on how they spawn and who it clots they spawn near and whatever. I'm gonna start though. Don't pull early, please. We need him in the middle. Like there's there's no way around it. I have two, sorry. Go in, uh, orange. It's doing square right now. Two stacks, go on a triangle. Okay. We're at three now, triangle already. You're at three? Yeah. I have two. I'm going How in. How did you guys get an extra cleave? We were taking some before circle. Is it possible that the pets How is that were? happening? Well, okay, is, there's no way... I don't see how that could be happening unless there was a cleave that happened before, like, circle even got cleaved. Like, right before a cleave, there was supposed to be a cleave because... Your water really was there though, so maybe it does target the pets. That'd be really stupid if it did. Yeah, well, it's either bugged or it targets the tank. Click the, it the, the, the pets. I'll take out the glyph, make sure it doesn't fall. The thing is, it followed me in there. It, it, it was there previously, I think. I, I think it was in uh, melee range. Not sure though. Harold, has your spot changed with uh, these ads There's spawning at all? No, they've really always been huh? in the same spot. They spawn like, like uh, a few feet, they like left and right of each other. Like so it makes it... oh. I felt like that pull though. They were always spotting the same two spots. I'm just the one. The reason I'm asked is I'm curious if like maybe it picks a spot and it spawns X amount of um mobs there, and then like it picks another spot, spawns X amount of mobs there, and then like shifts around the room or not. I don't know. It feels like that pull though, they were spawning in the same area. Not sure what determines that, because sometimes it, it feels like the they... Might back is facing out, right? Maybe where he's cleaving? We could just try, uh... We could do a pull without any pets. Not caring about DPS here. And see if the cleave, uh... Works properly. If it does, it's that the pet do work for the cleave. How many pets are we? We have four lots. Sorry, what's that? How many pets are out? Is it just my pet? I'm not sure. The water elementals. Oh, okay, and I see a warlock pet. We have one water elemental. Warlock I'm pretty sure my pet too. ran in after the facts. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I think I saw it in melee range. I'm not sure. It wasn't melee range when I came in because I have the dumb fine. glyph. I mean, I'll just remove it and keep it in range. I'm gonna start a countdown. It's after you get the sex, okay, so you have to do the cleave. Got monster. 
to go in. Two stacks. Try and go. Just go in. The soakers we need to uh right now for the bounding cleave. My stack actually falls off now so I can take two again. Ooh. Okay. I thought that's gonna happen. So square should be taking two again here. One hitting or yeah. So your your stacks fell off when uh he did uh bounding cleave? No it Tom. like just ran out the, the the time ran out. Oh okay. And I only had one stack, so I was like, like right now I just ran off two. I think that's just because we're dying. But are we only getting one again? I have I have no none right now. That my groups. No, I'm it's talking about now. the ads. I see two now. There's two. Spend two. I think it speeds up definitely throughout the. Well, I'm talking about for spawns before that one. I haven't mm -hmm. seen. One any... behind the tanks here. That's because okay. the boss's back is facing over there. There's three up now. These things are permanent, I take it. That would Circle seem so. They appear to be. Smashing an area, are you two here? Yeah. Did not having the pets change anything? Well, it sure did look I like think, it. I think what's happening is just the clump check is bigger. And there are some people who are standing a little like close in between like max range and the melee groups. And they might be triggering it. Like, I don't think anyone... I heard out. Is well, dude. Okay, okay Ariel, right. for now she's here. Okay. I think I should be here too if she read my text message. Let's get Smashy in too.
And Smash is here too. Yeah, once they get here, I want to go. If, can we get a summoning stone to try and speed this up? Okay, everyone's here. Um, I'm gonna need to assign two people spots really fast. I should have done three actually. Actually, not two. Okay, um, I'm gonna link this and I'm gonna go. Sorry. So you two are sitting in the right group, we're going third, just be in melee range and on the triangle the entire time, um, and let's get going, we probably don't have too much longer of this, so. Starting a countdown. Try not to be too close to the boss if you're not supposed to be in melee, like far range. So I don't screw up the cleave. I think that's what's doing it. I have two, go in circle. My group, right? Nope, I don't have two stacks yet. It's so where the hell okay. is the cleave uh, going? I have two now, so it's up to you. Triangle has two stacks, three now. Mm. Okay, I don't understand how many people are in triangle because. Goldflower, are you playing your DK? Yeah. How are the changes? Uh, might it be that we need to to be in his uh, head box? It looks like it. Like, seems pretty crappy so far. I just don't... I just don't... They're, like, they're no farther than anyone else's, or closer. It's just... Count the corpses, I guess. I mean, I only see... I see Skullflower, Ariel, Faye, and Smashy. No more than should be there. Is there someone not standing in a group that should be? Like, circle group? When, when are you getting the stack, Skullflower? Is it, like... During circle group, or is it during square group? During circle. During circle group. Well, it depends. Some pulls were like, triangle didn't get, uh, I mean, blue square didn't get the first few stacks because it went on the, the triangle. So it might be that we need to, uh, not, we need to be in uh, his uh, head box. I don't see what else at this point. Um. Persuka, did you want in here? Persuka? Um, I just, I just need to know if everyone, like, everyone standing on circle, everyone in the, on circle on this macro is actually running in right, it should be those five people. Center circle group. I 
looks like yep. it. Okay. Well, we can we can try again, but make sure we're on the the bus's head box. See if it yeah. does make a difference. Try it then. Try it like scoot like scooting in the hit box when it's your turn, I guess. And yeah. Out when you're not. I don't know. Mhm. Mm I'll probably be making just a couple more swaps um, after this, it's depending on if we can get further or not. It doesn't look like we're... <laughs> or, I don't know. I'd like two more people at least to swap in. Um, everyone should be here. I'm gonna go Hekka and I guess Jet if you're on Mumble. Be ready to hop in after this. Buff crit? And are good if you wanted to. I'm, I'm gonna start. I got one. Two, go in circle. If it looks like it's the the hitbox, it works right now. Maybe. Two stacks triangle in your turn. There's one. Kiss, go in. I got one. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. It did do it again, so go in circle. Should be the last of the cleaves. Get ready to merge soldiers for the mountain cleave. Alright, Kiss, tell me if your stack falls before this, by the way. If it what falls off? Yeah, if it falls off. It did fall, it would have fallen off just now, but I died to the explosion. Alright, so Sark, is your stack on then? My stack is off. I'm on true slam stack, so yeah. we do not have any bleeds. Right we now. can have we can have a group run out then in the future because square took your circle took two. Did circle take two there? Two cleaves before that happened? No, no, one. One. Well, yeah, then it most definitely should be like able to have the last group or the next group take a cleave in the future. Turn all you're up. Talk. Smashy's dead, so this might turn into. A, a clusterfuck here. Let's kiss this group if... Okay, I'm up, so I'm up. It looks like, I mean... Uh, I, I can't really say I understand what's happening with those things because it looks like they're always spawning. Look at them. Well, they're not the always spawning, but they prefer to spawn from those spots. But for some reason, a random one spawns from the other side of the room. Two of them just spawned right there together. You're gonna need a cooldown to soak that. Okay, there's three right now. Master Zing. I was gonna swap a few of our people. Can we, Smashy? Can you turn on a stone? Yeah. It would be stupid to move the boss a lot, huh? Because they all like converge together. You can just soak them all at once. I mean, down. you couldn't move them after the bounding charge, but after that, I mean, no, it's kind of shitty to move them. Eventually, if we get a lot and we can yeah, bring them together somehow, together. then we yeah, can have they people like that guy. Uh, choose some Clive and Raw, I swapped you guys. The boss, so like, there was four there stacked Peek and Hortha, other, please, and, like, so we can get these people if in. If you had a cooldown, like a trench or something, you'd be able to soak all of them at once. I'm gonna have to remark for True Slim. Berserker, I'm gonna be giving you True Slim's mark. Actually, Sark, I'm gonna give it to you since you've been here. Um... That's fine, yeah. Alright, I'll summon Hekka. Click my portal, please. Someone get Jet and Bazooka if you're not clicking. Flag oven load, I guess, is what his shitty character is doing. How dare you. Um, I'll replace the macro too in a second, sorry.
So where am I stacking? Who, what mark am I stacking on? Yeah, I'm gonna make a call too, by the way. And if if we do it correctly, I think it's gonna be my group every time. But you know, it really depends on uh, depends on I guess if there's a cooldown between the sleeves or not. Um, but I'm gonna call for a group to run out and stack. Okay. And who who has a try skullflower? You have the triangle. So um, skullflower. If assuming it's our group every time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run out early, and we're gonna be stacked. Take bounding cleave. Okay. Okay. If I'm too far forward in game power, just no reason to scoot over that. Because yeah, right now, right now, now, honestly, we're not we're not doing a good job of clumping up and taking bounty cleave, and I think that might not even be viable. So we'll try and that approach, see if it works. Uh, Errol, you're here, correct? Yeah. Make sure the new people are buffed. Check the macro if you're uh, if you're in, please. Make sure. Um, Make sure uh, you're in the right spot because if you're not, you're gonna kill us. So Jet, Brzezuki, you're going in blue. Your group is so soaking first. Stay there well, the entire we, we time. Only have, we only have three, uh, four people in our group because uh, Nate oh, Rell is. I, I signed him. I signed JT oh, okay. to the square. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, right. okay. So do each one of us run out and soak? No. In this group? No. no. You just, you stay you're staying in melee oh, the entire okay, time. Okay. okay. Same goes for uh, Hekka, stay in melee the entire time in circle group, which is center. I'm going to start a countdown. Make sure you're stacked right on top of your marker. I marked players. Not the not the markers in the room. The markers on the players, to clarify. Try and do this perfectly so we can see the timing of Cleaves. Okay, army pulled. Just, just go with it, please. If you can hear me, I think I disconnected. Kilmore's dead, so... Oh, tank is like that, I think he runs like that because he didn't Yeah, look. we're, we're dead. Hello? Die Hello? quickly Hello? so we can... All right. I think die quickly. Call up. We're dead Hello? anyways. Yeah. We had an early pull. Try not, try not to pull early. Even if it, like, just pull the army for their way, always. I know it's a mistake, but... Yes, it does, sorry. <laughs> you math us? We... you burned it, so just run back. Oh. Good yeah, I definitely think those ads, there's either like a positioning thing tied to it, which I don't think makes as much sense as there being a preferred spot for them to spawn, but for some reason it randomizes it every once in a while but we haven't gotten far enough to the fight to see if like anything changes drastically because we've well i guess like the last pull before that was the longest we've lasted and we had like a clump of three randomly or something or a clump of two i don't think we've you know we haven't really seen that many times Hopefully everyone's here. I'm gonna do another. Ca uh, Ren, you're good, right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna start. Go out, I'm going, I mean, uh, orange. Oh, just turn off at you here, Kilmore, I think we only need to taunt. Turn off, you're up. That's one. Kiss, run in.
I got one. I got two. Go in circle. All right, Skullfire run out. Skullfire's group run out. Everyone follow him, please. Stack on triangle, my group. Stack on triangle, my group. Kids, you're gonna be going first, okay? I'll have the boss when he comes sir. Oh, that hurt me a lot. So blues first. Get to move over. Uh, circle moving closer to your tanks. This is quite as we intended. Why not? What happened to circle group? Did they die to cleave? I'm not sure what happened there. Hecka, what killed you? Can you check your log? I have two stacks. Yeah, Whatever. Uh, Circles. Uh, what you see? It doesn't show. Hmm. Well, we're gonna die. It's a lot of lack of people, I think. There it is. This is a cleave. I mean, that shouldn't happen, though. I mean, people just need to... I think we're. It's gonna be a matter of repositioning fast enough after that, especially the blue group. So basically, when we phase the right before we phase, group blue takes one one stack, and then we have the triangle group soak, and then when once we phase back, it's um, blue squares up again, right? Yeah, that's what should happen because your your guys stack fell off there again, right? Like after the bounding cleave happens. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it looks like. And did you have one stack on circle again? After before that phase happened, was it just one cleave you got there? No, we were. Uh, we we didn't have any stacks uh, coming in the bundle cleave. Oh okay. Well then, yeah, we should. Pr we probably should be able to do it that way every time then. Yeah. I can't release for some reason. You're like kiss, kiss. Boss couple. You. The server's lagging. Someone res. They yeah. res on top of the boss. Boss pull. Well, I still can't release. This is the problem. That's because you're in combat. I'll get out. Yeah, oh, is it? Is this kind of double mouse? Oh, okay. I, thought it was just <laughs> I guess one. that's what oh, happens yeah. when an ad hits the ball. Come back. Okay, so your guy's stack was gone, or Sark? Uh, no yeah, stack. stack was gone, yeah. Okay, so then I, I think that's the strat. I think that's the strat. Or, yeah. like, the, the, the last group. Whatever group takes the last, the third set of cleaves is going to be the one taking bounding cleave. And we just need enough, just enough people to soak. So, at the beginning of the fight, if we really want to, we could probably add more people to soak cleaves to make it easier. Um, but like as the, as more ads start spawning, it's gonna have to slowly be taken away, like slowly be removed. People need to be removed. I think five is a, you know, is a good amount of people for now. And you know, maybe there's a point where there is too many people to soak cleaves to make it, you know, makes a, the dot becomes more of a, makes it not worth it. If that makes sense. I'm not sure how hard that bleed is actually ticking for. I didn't look at it if it's like anything, if it does more than like cleave hit does overall or something. Is the buzz gaining energy at the same rate throughout the fight? Like to that point? Yeah, well. Or like the, the stacks? After that, rather? after that. No, no, his uh, energy. Like, is he going to do yeah. bound and cleave at the same it exact se time? It seems to be. I mean, it was it was pretty much almost the same. Uh, for two pulls in a row at least, give or take one cleave, like one, the pull before you guys had one stack, that last pull you had zero, so, I don't, I, I guess it really depends on, like, I, I, I just, I mean, I, I guess it could be a little random, but, unless, like, we're talking three cleaves, like, extra random, I don't think it's gonna be a problem with the way it's set up, but, um, you know, if it is... I mean, I guess it's something we'll just, you'll probably see if something stupid happens. Mm -hmm. But it seems like his energy is going up at a set rate, so. So it should be easy to manage. Yeah. I guess the only question is, like, is it the same, is it going to be the same rate every time it happens? I don't know if, like, his enrage speeds up his energy or not. Or if his energy goes up based on anything, I think it's just time based. It seems to be time based since it was around the same time. I mean, well, if it's time based, it's going to be the same thing throughout the the entire fight. Yeah. 
give or take, like, it seems to be give or take one cleave, but the only way to know for sure is to consistently get to that point and allow it to happen a few more times and see if we have any problems arise. Um, get to your spots. And after that bounding cleave, it's going to be really important that the, the blue group especially, um, is in position immediately and you know there we may even want to establish a fail safe where like you know we have smashy and jet in two different groups actually jets in blue group isn't he let me click this one more time we can blue, we, yes. we can assign like a fail safe to say like um you know until until square group is in position we could say like smashy and I'm trying to think of a I don't know who is a uh, dead loop. I guess is a range in the circle group. We can have like a range assigned to not run in immediately from the circle and triangle group, just to make sure square gets like is in position fast enough. And then once we notice like, you know, that those people just slowly move in a little slower. Make sure you don't link the two groups together, and uh, just get back in position when we know square is in position. Okay, that's that's probably a decent fail safe. But the people in square group need to make sure you're in melee range and stacked right on square as fast as possible, like as soon as the charge is done. You know, as soon as he goes back to tank, you guys need to move yourselves back in. I'm going to start a countdown. I mean, everyone else needs to make sure you don't run, like, in a shitty spot to get to your spot. Like, don't run through the boss to get to your spot, because you're probably going to get hit by a cleave. I got one. Got two, go in circle. Two stacks, triangle, you're up. It's one. Kiss, go in. One. It's definitely Two, a skull go um, Circle. When the triangle marker's on the ground, we're gonna stack there again. Okay, so oh. run out now. Run the triangle marker, my group. Charge right on us. There we go. Blue group is taking the next before cleave. Before this happens. And Wait. well, that's not good. Zaka, it's a place you are laser on the awesome heart server. Or is that his first cleave? We had a, uh, we had a blow up on us. A in little incident. Well, I'm asking if he cleaved. That's yes, two. Yes, he cleaved the right. middle group, yes, already. Okay. Cleaved so far. How many bleeds? Three total out. Cleaved the middle group no. twice, then not. Who's supposed to get that one? Because it came all the way from blue. It's not just... really specifically a science. It came from the blue marker on the ground, is that what you said? Mm, a little bit to the left. Little to be. left. The one behind the tanks, is that, or like the one where Errol's soaking now? Yeah, now three spawned. Uh, oh, they spawned in completely spot. different spots right yeah. now. Out of okay, so it's Errol's. I mean, we have 15. We have like. He the token Korea is the place DP. We have 15 plus the three people, or minus the three people. We have three people not standing out. They're standing in, and that's it. That's like not a sign to run in and out. Or the soakers uh, able to figure out like. All the the exact spots where the cadaver spawned. They've all. I mean, it seems to be you know, it seems to be happening from the same direction until we get a charge phase, and it seems to fuck it out. Feels like, like they always spawn on like these rocks jutting out of the ground, like I, just around the place. I see one spawning like every attempt right here. 
Yeah, it seems like the first one spawning or else soaking, which is over where I'm jumping right now. Or, or because yeah. I'd like to mark all the locations and take a screenshot for it. Mine's just yeah, every single pole. It's always right here, right in the middle. Are there any spawning right here where I'm running? Yeah, a little bit more over. Over right there. Way. Other way, other way. Here. Here, I'll come show you. This is the one that wiped us. It spawned right here. Oh, okay. So. Right here. One pull, we had one went. spawn behind us when the boss is facing that way, so I don't know. Yeah, that last pull, we had like this whole area between Circle and Moon had like three spawn when he charged, when he ran also, over to the other side of the room. When he, you guys are stacking that left group for the cleave thing, you might, I mean, that's a way to point them boss if you wanted to do that. Like, you can have the middle group be the last one if you wanted to do it that way. If you didn't want the boss to like change facing. Unless you can move, you want to move during that phase, which would be hard. What do you mean? I don't understand what you're saying. I'm saying that the boss, you can point the boss by deciding who's going to be the last group to get the charge oh, get thing. The cleave or the but I'm, I'm saying that like you don't really want That's to it. change the boss's direction while you're in that phase. Well, where would you want him? Where hard. would we charge him to? Where all the puddles are? I don't, I don't the problem. really care where you charge him. I'm just saying that you know, like people are having a hard time adjusting when he changes direction, yeah. so you need to know that he's going to be changing direction. That's just Know that. Are there any other spots than uh, those marks? We haven't. I mean, we've. It's been so infrequent that I can't really tell you off the top of my head where they're spawning, okay. like in the other spots. Are there any spawning on the green, by the way, or is that mark just I'm for stacking? Not. It hasn't happened yet because okay. I'm standing around there. So. So so far we have those five marks. Well, that's a good uh, estimate. Yeah, I almost feel like there is maybe something that determines, like, you know, where they could be spawning from, but I just don't know what. We're gonna pull from over here this time. See where, we're, see where the tanks are. Let's see where you are. I'm jumping up and down. Okay. Alright, make sure, make sure everyone adjusts their position then, groups, because, like, we're gonna be, you know, center, left, right. It's gonna be different. And maybe we can see if like this affects where shit spawns. So this is different other than just rotating, like just rotating to see if it spawns behind them. Since Sipo was really mad and had to rage lock because we weren't testing it. Yeah, this is easy. We're just rotating. It'd have to be Which, me or the It really almost doesn't make a difference, except that you need to be just turning the boss the whole fight and moving the people who uh, are assigned to pick up the thing. Well, let's go before we run out of time. I'm yes, gonna start. Sir. Because we don't really know when this is ending. It's, it's past an hour and a half. So we're probably just going to be pulling from here on out. Can so we get ready to intercept and add uh, behind him, please? Or anywhere else that he might be. I have two run in. Orange. Yeah, See the there's... one that spawned over there between Moon and Square. It's definitely the case. Except, um... Triangle, well... you're up. Yeah, I can. I think I'll do this. But make sure you soak the... Okay. That's one. Uh, is... I Go can't in. reach Tank from the Moon, though. Probably not the best spot for healer. I mean, circle. Yeah, this this, so this works the same way every time. Let's see that one. Dead now. Look where that one spawned. The random one spawns just wherever. Cause that one yeah. spawned at red. Well, is that the second one always? I wonder. It's right after I, the knockback, or whatever it was. It seems okay. That one's always spawning there. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't, don't know. understand. I don't know, maybe there's one that spawns based on where the boss is sits, like, facing and the maybe set spots activate one that's not, throughout. That one was not ever facing. Yeah, well back, that's, so that's, that where they, that's where that it always spawns though. And yeah. maybe that's how we're seeing double spawns. Is um, 
when we have the boss facing in such a way where one of our all like active spawns spawns on top of one of the uh, ones that like the one that activates. Now, a question a question I have is which way were you facing him before, so I can kind of see like the angle. Ninety degrees either way, it's right? Where, to his back right is where that one spawns. But it might they, they spawn wasn't always a spot, so wasn't it might always be like a to his back thing. right though because it's spawned no, on it's top not. of me. It's not. It's definitely not. It's just they have certain spawn points and it's whatever is close, I guess. I just, yeah, I just don't understand how it's like it's it's on the left side for Arolds, um, that time and like it was on his right side the other like time. Like I said, there's certain spawn points. Yeah. And it's whichever is closest. But when it. It's but, but then the closest, ones to randomly. closest to what? Or for, it, what is it furthest away from the boss? It's like cl closest to whatever direction has anything to do with it. it might be his Can back we right or try his back pulling the boss just like a little closer we can try pulling to. It closer over here if you want. Uh, well, I want to see like if we could try pulling it closer to like towards where I put square down. Or not yeah. square the skull down. And see, like, have his back facing towards X, and see if we could double spawn on X, um, you know, when that point hits. Assuming he's actually spawning towards, like, the furthest point of the way from him, like, the, the furthest spawn away from him. That would make sense. Okay, let's go though. So again, we're changing our spots. It's gonna be similar to how it was last time, but the boss is gonna be a little closer towards that wall. I'm gonna begin. I have one step. I have two going. It's on purple Bunch. again. Can you, hmm. can you try and or try and come backwards a little bit? Yeah, and move groups. I don't, I don't it's gonna be horrible, obviously, but it's not any worse. Stack triangle, time. you're up. Well, we didn't we didn't have anything happen. Spawn on red. Keep keep it here, and see if we get double spawns on red, because that might confirm this theory. Oh, key to be you're up. Fuck me. That's probably gonna kill someone. That would be right. We close. lost one person. Um, my group we're gonna stack on the moon when it's time. It's gonna be. You can tell me. Stack Still on the moon. Stack, so it's Talk. gonna be square again. Yeah. Okay, now did one spawn came from, from purple? So. Oh shit. Yeah, that one came from purple, and I think that's the random one, like uh, it's just random or something. That's, yeah. I really don't, I really don't get it. We have one at blue, one stack. Oh, another one's gonna... I have two, I'm going out, but I have to... Get Here, let's one. rotate the boss a little bit. Everyone turn, everyone go to your right, 90 degrees. Circle oh, we're gonna right. die soon anyway, just turn them yeah. and try and... Yeah, they're coming last. out of purple now. This three came out. I guess I can get purple, but... I need a heal, I'm gonna die. A little short on those, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of purple. distance based, yeah, and... Looks like he's... Okay, is one gonna spawn, or what? Try try moving, try moving the boss, like, just bolt across the room in any direction, try okay. and live. Go on, Green. Yeah. Oh, oh he's well, he's bounding. We'll move across whatever. the room anyway. Just try, try oh, and get... Oh, yeah. Those all, like, spawned at X. They all spawned at far, but, like, those... We turned the boss those already, so... I don't try know, and keep it has less to do with facing sail. and more to do with, like, distance or something. Yeah, uh -huh. but the the weird thing is, like, it's how he picks other nodes. Like... Yeah, I think it has less to do with facing and more to do with distance, because that was uh -huh. really weird. Like when we moved, they immediately spawned. 
Like over here, the other side, but we turn the so boss and spawn behind him. Do you wanna, do you wanna pull him to where we zone in or like walk down? Yeah, I'll just have the raid on the other side. You can use yeah. the water as well, but I don't know if that'll well, do anything I'm with the spawns. I think he's just wanting to confirm. Um, I mean, we could do that. Here's my, my the question really is like, I guess you know he he decided to pick the one where Earl is at. Like I, I guess what we what I really want to try and do is like when he activates a second one, I want to make like a drastic shift in position, even though it's probably going to kill us. Okay. Um, to see like if it only affects one of the spawns and that one stays permanently active or what. It's like I, I guess really like okay yes there seems to be, the first one seems to be distance based but like. I guess the question is, like, is there something that controls how he picks the next area, I don't know. or... We're gonna pull him to X, and then... Face him... Uh, face him towards and, X. Like, when he activated purple... No, no, face him purple. towards the middle of the room. Okay. Let's see. Um, so let's see. We're gonna face him... We're gonna pull him to X, and we're gonna so face expect, the middle of the room, so the stacks will be on the, the stairs. Room. So, um... I guess, like... And the other question is like, you know, the one that activated on purple that pull that we've been seeing activate on X the majority of the pulls. Um, I guess the question is, is that one always active for the remainder of the fight? Like, is that It didn't how... seem like it. It seemed like it spawned a bunch of times and then it stopped spawning after oh, a certain Oh, we're getting number. ported out. <laughs> Unfortunate. I don't know. There seems to be... I don't think it has... I think it has more to do with distance than anything else, but who the fuck knows. There's definitely like certain spawn points though and it's different.